Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi, I got all three out this morning. I read the one comment that said that I was so cold I couldn't even do my three come on. Or uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. That was pretty funny, made me chuckle. It is definitely cold out here, guys. But somebody's happy about it. Uh, Ryder's actually in the house. He wasn't feeling it this morning. He's like, nah, not today. Not today. I think I'm going to stay in this warm house and stay cozy. Uh, so we got the generator problem situated. I uh, went to town yesterday. I hate going to town. It always eats up my whole day. I didn't get nothing done yesterday except for going to town and some other things that we'll talk about here in a minute. But they did allow me to change models of generators. So I upgraded. It did cost me a little bit of money. But I'm going to show you which one I got. I ended up getting the Predator 8750. Now the reason why I decided to go with this one. The one thing I don't like about it. It is very loud. But it does have 220. The other one did not. Or 240. Um which will allow me to run the well and everything else off one generator instead of having to have to use two. But it's pretty nice, and what I do like about it is, whoop, right there, it actually has a push start instead of pulling it, because whenever it starts running bad and you gotta pull it 1,900 times, you'll pull your shoulder out. So that one has the push start, and so does the 9,000 that I use out there in the woods for building. Ah, man, I slept good last night though, but by the time I got done in town with Harbor Freight and changing out the generators and everything, uh, I did stop and have lunch with Margarita yesterday while I was in town because that's the town that she works in. So we had a nice lunch and then I came back home and I had to put the generator together. You know, you got to put the wheels on, the little carry arm, fill it up with oil. You know, the little things that level it out after you put the wheels on, all of that. So I had to do that. Then I had to get right back in the truck and go over to the 41.36 to Country Road Cures place. And them guys are killing it, by the way. Um, they are moved into their shed to house now. Uh, they're still working on it. Still got a lot to go, but... Uh, Hey, they got in before Thanksgiving, and that was their plan because Thanksgiving's next weekend. But uh, Anthony and Roxanne invited me over the other day for uh, lasagna. So that was last night. And let me tell you, Roxanne, you killed it. The lasagna was amazing. It was amazing. So I went over there last night, had dinner, hung out for a little while, and then came back home. So I ended up going up and down my driveway yesterday like four times, something like that, four times. So I was a bobblehead by the end of the day. But it worked out. Um, I'll go up and down that driveway bobbleheading for lasagna like that <laughs> anytime because it was amazing. And I love lasagna, and that is one thing I've never tried to cook. My sister makes the best lasagna on the planet, in my opinion. And uh, so I've never had to make lasagna. I would always just call her and say, hey, I'll buy the ingredients if you make it. So I was always able to get uh, lasagna on demand. So I've never tried to make it. And uh, with me out here by myself, lasagna is one of those things that you just, just don't make a small portion of. So um, it's not something that I will probably cook because it's just me. It is beautiful out today, guys. It's cold, but it's beautiful. Look at the skies. It is completely, completely clear. Let me show you. We have brown everywhere. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not. But it is definitely icy. I think there's a song out there. It's talking about, I'm so icy, icy. It is definitely icy. The sun is starting to rise, so it is starting to defrost a little bit. The windshield is still covered. The hood is still covered. Yeah, I know everybody's saying that winter's not here yet, but it sure does look like winter to this Florida boy. I know it's still fall, autumn, whatever it is. But when you're waking up in the mornings and your truck's completely covered with ice and uh, 
the ground is completely frosted. Uh, in Florida, we call that winter. Come on. <laughs> but it is gorgeous out here. It's supposed to get into the 50s today, so it's actually going to be a nice day. Uh, and I don't have to leave the mountain today. So, I will be getting back on the building today and be filming that. Um, I'm not putting a video out today. Um, I was going to try to get it edited last night by the time I got home and everything like that. But I really did not want to stay up until 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. And then be all tired today because I really wanted to have a good day's work today. So I'm going to edit tonight and put a video out tomorrow. Um, but today is all about getting out here and getting it done. Now that I have the generator, as y'all seen, I put it on the slab over there. I actually want to go ahead and get that room built. I can't put the metal on yet because I don't have the metal. So, yeah, I don't know though. I do have some metal and I might shorten that room a little bit and just have a little ledge off the back for the, to hold the gas cans and stuff like that. I don't know yet. I don't know if I can make it work or if I'm going to have to order longer metal for it, but I need to get it built so I know and that way I can get some proper measurements to go ahead and get the metal ordered. So yeah, I definitely got to get on that. So it's all about building today. It's all about getting it done. As you can see, the foreman is ready. It's like, okay, you've been too busy. You've been too busy. It's time to get out here and get back to building. Yeah, during the holidays and with all the stuff that we got going on right now, it seems like there's always something. I did end up picking up uh, some foam like I put around the well. And I'm going to do the lines on the propane tanks and the regulator. Uh, I think I agree with all the comments. I don't think it's the propane tanks themselves. They might be losing a little bit of pressure, but I don't think enough to really cause an issue i think it's just a matter of that regulator freezing and uh last night it actually got colder it got down to like 22 degrees here and i didn't have the problem now i don't know if that's just because i switched to the newer tank and it uh has more pressure in it and the other one was about halfway so lost a little pressure there i don't know but i did go ahead and get some of that so i'll be doing that today as well end up uh putting some of that on there and taping it up and uh insulating the regulator a little bit and i think that will make a big big difference i also have got my little generator tore apart i'll show y'all here in a second i decided while i was having all these uh generator issues that i would go ahead and give my small one some love because if i'm not running air conditioners and stuff like that i can run this small one but it did not want to crank about a month ago. I tore it apart yesterday. I pulled the spark plug. I cleaned out the air filter. And uh, I still have it all took apart. <laughs> Phone's glitching again. Let me show you on this side. But I got it all tore apart. Got the spark plug out. Cleaned out the air filter. I'll be... Uh, changing the oil and stuff today putting a new spark plug in it i got the spark converter out of it i did get some parts cleaner and stuff like that so i'm going to clean it tune it up real good see if i can get that one running because if i can get that one running on these nights where i'm not actually using like the uh the air fryer and stuff like that i can just run that small one and that small one is extremely cheap to run and extremely quiet so i prefer to run that one and only run the big boy huh, when I have to. I've also been uh, working with a couple of sponsors um, behind the scenes, doing a little bit of business stuff on the YouTubes. And uh, I actually signed a contract last night for one of them and I got something pretty exciting coming that I'm gonna do a video on that I really, really need. So, um, looking forward to that uh, I'll tell y'all more about it once I get it and got a plan for the video and all of that but it's definitely going to help me and buy me a little time definitely looking forward to it but I did come out here last night and kind of walk around the building and get a game plan for today when I got back home 
this house wrap makes a big, big difference with the weather that we've been having. And it doesn't look like the weather is going to change anytime soon. I think we still got all weekend to go. Clips over there in the woods are doing something. I think we still got all weekend to go before it actually starts warming back up. I got to pay real close attention to the weather um, with me needing to paint the floors and everything because it ain't good to try to paint in this kind of weather right here. Also, Uber will be back Sunday. Um, I'm getting Uber back. That way we can start milling siding because I am ready to start putting some siding up on the walls because I want to put some insulation inside the building because I plan on getting it closed off today. Um, I don't know if I'll get the windows in or not, and I definitely won't get the doors built because I need the sawmill for that. But my goal is to get it dried in and insulated and that way I could put a heat source in there. And on these cold days like this, I can actually be on the inside working in heat instead of out here freezing my booyah caca off. Come on. <laughs> so that's the goal. But it definitely ain't going to do itself. So <laughs> I got to get at it. I'm not going to really do a whole lot of... Oh, I will show you all one more thing. I did... Uh, two nights ago I think it was maybe longer I actually rearranged the cabin to start getting ready for Christmas to make some room well there's Ryder you sitting there being all cozy yeah Ryder just wants that heater right there I'm not going to try to turn around the camera because it's been glitching but as you can see, the main thing I changed was I turned the desk around. I know it's kind of dark in here. I got the generator off so we could hear outside. But I put the desk up against the wall instead of running this way. And what that did was open up this whole area right here. And uh, I still got to go through everything and clean it up and organize it and stuff like that. Because the thing about it is, is in, in here whenever you change anything you got to destroy the whole cabin because it's such a small space that it kind of uh, messes up everything so it's almost like starting uh starting over but i think with that being over there on the wall i think that's gonna uh, make a big difference and uh I'll show you a little glance too of my new what's happening Whoop. we're not going to touch on that too much though not here on the youtubes because they frown on that. They frown on that. Ryder, you're following me, but I got to go back outside. If you want to come, come on. Do you want to come? Are you ready to come outside? Look. <laughs> Accidentally shut my phone off. So it looks like I'm going to have to do a little editing and piece this together. But Ryder made it outside, haven't made it too far, but a little bit. You are one spoiled kitty. Are you happy to see your brother? But I think I'm going to go ahead and call it, guys, and go ahead and get off here. And uh, now I actually got to edit this uh, video here because I accidentally shut the camera off. And I didn't say bye to you guys. So it is what it is. I will make it happen. And we're also going to make that happen but i hope everybody has a wonderful wonderful thursday and uh, i hope it's a beautiful weather and a good time for y'all and everything stays positive and i hope you move one step closer to your goal but i gotta get my butt to work so until we see each other again guys come on keep it real